Right, okay, a little bit of baked, not gonna lie. <laughs> so, there's nothing better to do when you're baked in Amsterdam than come to an arcade, and I've just challenged ads to a game of Jenga. We're in Amsterdam now. This is the day after, the night before. <laughs> um, after we got back from Bordeaux, um, we had a little uh, walk around the hotel, checked it out a little bit. There's not really a lot to do around here, so we all went to bed nice and early. Uh, we've got up, it's currently about uh, 7 a.m. and we're about to do an event here in Amsterdam. So this is the Power to Achieve event. If you have a look around, it's all empty. People are coming in. Um, so yeah, all we're doing, we're, we're sticking around here for the morning just to make sure everything goes well, make sure no one needs us. And then me, Billy and Ads are gonna go and hit up Amsterdam Central, uh, have a little walk around, see that beautiful city that we call Amsterdam. Right, we've got a little bit of time to kill, so I thought I'd challenge Ads to a little ball flip challenge. <laughs> Okay, cool. So, um, just left the hotel on our way to um, uh, Amsterdam Central. We're going to a place called Liebsplein. I've been here, how many times have I been to Amsterdam now? Three, I've been here three times once on a stag, once with my bird, and then uh, once with the lads. And it's been sick every time, to be fair. It's brilliant. But there's this one place that we always end up going called Liebsplein, which is really, really nice. It's got a place called the Bulldog Palace, which is a really cool area. So, we're going to go there, chill out. Um, eat some lunch, hit up a few calves, have some ferns, maybe um, maybe get on a boat or something like that, I'm not sure, but either way, should be fun. Right, it's brilliant. And this, this cat, this cat has just sat in Ad's seat. He's got a toilet, he's gonna come back and there's a cat in his seat. Yes, yeah, Moon. No, no, sit here for a bit. Um, cash, please. Cash? Yeah, cheers. Sit over here. <laughs> Get a cat off. <laughs> Right, okay, a little bit of baked, not gonna lie. <laughs> so, there's nothing better to do when you're baked in Amsterdam than come to an arcade, and I've just challenged ads to a game of Jenga. Okay, so first stone challenge I won. Beat ads at Jenga. Next one, pinball. Round three, fight. Our uh, pinball of choice, Indiana Jones. We now need to decide who goes first, and we do that by a freeway, papers is rock. <laughs> One, two, three.
pong results. I lost, unfortunately. I've got 68 million. <laughs> Billy got 78. And the winner, Adam Gora, with 112 million. You win. Bing, bad, ski. <laughs> now, on to the next challenge. <laughs> The, the ones I'm going to be looking out for, either either to invest in or to start, like, like with the mill thing, to start will be um, time-saving ones. Because I, I just think in the next five years especially, where the world's getting so fast and technology's coming out, the time saving, everyone wants to save time. And all these apps that do well, they're all productivity apps. Productivity saves time. It's an order and sequence in which to do things to save time. Um, and like businesses like that, if you look at all the businesses that are doing really, really well, like Amazon, their main focus is saving time. Like everything they do is geared around saving people's time. Look what they've just done with the supermarket in this in the states, where you don't even have to put shit uh, like queue up and pay for stuff in the till. The reason that will work and that will be globally within five, ten years is because it saves people's time. They go in, they put shit in their thing, they just walk out the door with it because it's all automatically done. And like you know, the meal prep idea. I just think there's a really big market for it. And especially like, because it is niche, like we'd go after gym heads, like muscle guys, or, or go, you've got to go down the vegan route as well, because that's a huge market. But, you know, people that are busy, so people that work in the city, they work long hours, but they've also got the money to pay for it, will definitely pay for it, 100%, because it saves time. Because they value, they value time over money. Like I do, I value time over money massively. I'll pay, I, I, I do pay on a daily basis, shitloads of money if I can save time. Like yesterday when we got that taxi, perfect example. So the, 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 the hotel's five minutes away. When we told the taxi driver, the taxi driver's, no, 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 you have to get a shuttle. I said, mate, I'll pay for it. He's like, you want to pay 40 euros? I said, yeah, I'll pay 40 euros for it to go five minutes. Why? Because then I don't have to walk to the fucking shuttle, queue up for the shuttle, get on the shuttle, do loads of stops to the hotel. I save 20 minutes paying you 40 euros. I'll happily do that. Do you know what I mean? That's why that's what people go crazy to save time. Pay loads of money for it. Right, all done. Been to Amsterdam, been to the city centre, ate far too much. Now we've got to catch a cab. Back to the airport, go back to the UK. Home sweet home. <laughs>